Hello everyone, welcome to Kashiano Easy Math. So this video we have here exponential equation to solve. 4 to the power of 3x minus 2 equals 5 raised to the power of 2 minus x. And we're solving for the value of x. And for those new to my channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. I would appreciate it. And now let's start solving the exponential equation. So in this video, I'll be solving this exponential equation in two methods or two ways. The first way or method is uh, I'll be using the laws of exponent. And towards the end of this, I will be extracting the, the value of x by using the logarithm. And the second method will be using the uh, laws of the natural logarithm. And now let's start solving the exponential equation. Now here the first method. Okay. By using the, uh, the laws of exponent. Write the equation again. That's 4 raised to the power 3x minus 2 equals 5 raised to the power 2 minus x. So from here, left and right side of the equation is simplified exponent by using uh, the uh, exponent rule. That is a raised to m times a raised to n equals a raised to m plus n. So we're adding the exponents. The left side of the equation is now 4 raised to the 3x times 4 raised to negative 2. And the right side of the equation, 5 raised to the second power, or 5 squared times 5 raised to negative x. And from here, we're using another exponent rule that is negative exponent rule that is a raised to negative m equals 1 divided by a raised to positive m. So we'll be using this since the exponent, if you know this, here and here the exponent is negative. Okay, so equation now becomes 4 raised to the 3x divided by 4 raised to 2. It's from negative in the numerator Removing it down to the uh, denominator will be exponent negative will become positive. The right side of the equation 5 is square divided by 5 raised to positive x. From negative on the numerator become the denominator, the exponent will become positive. Alright, and from here we cross multiply. So the equation now becomes 4 raised to the 3x times 5 raised to x equals 4 is squared times 5 is squared and from here we focus our attention on the the term of this uh, equation on the left side the 4 raised to the 3x so that is 4 raised to the 3x could be written the same way as 4 times the power of x times 4 to the power of x times 4 raised to the power of x. 4 raised to the power of x three times since the coefficient here is 3. So and this can also be written as since these are all the same base and the same exponent. So we're adding the uh, expo adding the exponent and uh, this could be written the same way as 4 times 4 times 4 all raised to x. So now this turns out to 4 times 4, 16 times 4 is 64. So that is now 64 raised to the power of x. So we we're substituting this value to the left side of the equation. First, this one, 4 raised to the 3x. So this is now 64 to the power of x times 5 to the power of x equals right side remain the same. 4 squared times 5 squared. So from here, we're we're applying the same principle as what we have on the uh, 4 raised to the 3x right there. The uh, exponent rule that is a raised to m times b raised to m is equal to a times b raised to m. So we're applying this principle to the left side of the equation. So this is now 64 times 5 raised to the power of x is equal to 4 squared 
times 5 squared. So the left side of the equation can be written the same way now as 64 times 5 is 320. So that is now 320 raised to the power of x. And the right side of the equation is uh, 4 squared times 5 squared. 4 squared is 16 and 5 squared is 25. So 16 times 25, that is equal to 400. So from here, to extract the value of x, I'll be using the law of uh, logarithm. That is log of, of b raised to x is equal to x log of b. All right, so in here, Let's do that. Uh, this is now log of 320 power x is equal to log of 400. So in here, we follow this rule right here and the rule, one of the rules of uh, logarithm, exponent rule. So this is now x log of 320 equals log of 400. To find the value of x, Divide the whole equation by log of 320. Left side and right side of the equation. So this cancels. This is 1. So this is now x is equal to log of 400. Divide by log of 320. And this is the exact value. And the... Uh, the corresponding value of x in terms of uh, decimal form x is equal to 1.03868 all right and uh, this is uh, what i call the approximate value approximate value of x all right and this one is the corresponding exact value of x now let's do the second method by using the laws of the natural logarithm from here i've just written the equation again 4 raised to the power of 3x minus 2 equals 5 raised to the power of 2 minus x so natural logarithm so this is now ln of 4 raised to the 3x minus 2 equals ln of 5 raised to 2 minus x and using this rule we have the ln of a raised to raised to x equals to x ln of a so we're putting that exponent x to the front they will become coefficient so the exponent is now on the front as coefficient that's 3x minus 2 ln of ln of 4 is equal to the same way in here 2 minus x times ln of 5 distributive property same way over here so this is now 3x ln of 4 minus 2 times ln of 4 equals 2 times ln of 5 minus x ln of 5 and uh, we're moving uh, this term of the equation to the left side and we're moving this term to the right side so we, we're gonna have those variables on the, on the left of the equation so this is now so 3x ln of 4 and then minus there becomes plus over here plus x ln of 5 equals 2 ln of 5 minus becomes plus which now 2 ln of 4 and from here we're using one of the rules of natural logarithm we'll be using it on this on this and on this and that is the same way again as what we have earlier over here what we have uh, what we have done on on the on this part is uh, the coefficient we're putting that coefficient now as an exponent so that will be reversing all right so let's do that over here and at the same time the left side of the equation we're extracting the uh, variable x so this is now factoring out x, variable x 
so this is now x times quantity now this x coefficient 3 goes up on top as the exponent so this is now ln of 4 to the power 3 plus ln of 5 and the right side of the equation this is now ln of 5 to the power 2 plus ln of 4 to the power of 2 same way and uh, this is the same we're written as ln of 5 square times ln of 4 square so in here we're using the property ln of a plus ln of b is equal to ln of a times b so we're combining these terms two terms into one term like in here so a and b will be combined so these are multiplied so like in here 5 squared 4 squared now it it goes into one term and that will be the same way on here so this is now x times the quantity ln of 4 cubed times ln of 5 is we're putting that 5 in the parentheses so to find the value of x we'll be dividing the whole term with this value with this value ln of uh, 4 cubed times 5 divided by ln 4 cubed times 5 and in here this cancels and the value of x now is that's equal to so x is equal to ln of 5 squared times 4 squared that is 400 divided by ln of uh, 4 cubed times 5 that's 320 so that's now the final answer for the value of x and from here once again if we get the uh, numer numerical value of the x ln of 400 divided by ln of 320 that comes out to by using our calculator that is 1.03 eight six eight so this is exactly the same as what we had found earlier if we take a look back the value of x is log of 400 over log of 320 and it's one approximately equal to 1.03868 if you notice on the bottom it, you get it the same way so but in here is uh, instead of logarithm common logarithm we use the uh, natural logarithm ln ln 400 and ln of 320 and came out the same way x is approximate value this is another approximate value again 1.03868 so those are the final answers all right so these are the final answer okay and the other one so that's the same way but we use the log common logarithm but we arrived at the same answer and so that's all for now and uh, for those new to my channel please don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos uh, hit that notification bell so every time I upload new videos you get updated right away and uh, all right I appreciate your time again and thank you for watching I will see you in the next videos have a great day everyone bye